Wobbin FC TV with Adam Hinchwood following a 3-2 win against Welling United in the National League South. Adam, what were your thoughts on that game? Oh, it was a, it was a great game, wasn't it? For the spectacle, um, for the neutral there, it had absolutely everything, didn't it? A red card, five goals, um, really um, difficult conditions, the rain coming in, the wind. Um, but you know, in the main, I thought the performance was excellent from the players. But um, to play so well, create as many chances as we did, lost count of the amount of times they scrambled stuff off the line, um, and then for us to be resorting to holding it in the corner would, for me, sum up our season. Really, I think it's got to be that kind of performance. It's got to be a comfortable victory, um, and then you know, everyone's nervy towards the end because they've got the win, they got a bit of momentum by getting the goal back, and. You know, just just soft goals again, really. Um, but you know, it's been a long time coming. I think it's the first um, three points that we've collected on a Saturday at three o'clock. Um, keep getting reminded of that, so I'm glad that we've got that off our back. And it um, it, it it brings you know a, a keeps a good run going. Um, two wins and two draws now in the last four with really good performances with it. Um, so there's some momentum to be gained there for us. And even if you include the FA Trophy game at Maystone, it's a lot of good performances over this Christmas period and into the new year. So a lot to build on going into Eastbourne away next weekend. No, it certainly is. And, you know, the tests become, um, you know, tougher and tougher as it goes along. We've got a tricky little um, tie against Lansing in the Sussex Senior Cup to, to negotiate first. There's the competition we want to do well in. So, um, yeah, we've got to look at who's available for that. And then, like I say, um, two sort of local derbies now in the space of five days to, to prepare for and um, it's good to be heading into that with a bit of momentum and um, yeah we want to keep our performance levels high if we can um, going into Saturday. Performance wise today though was excellent, it was top draw, the first half especially for Worthing was um, one of the highlights at Woodside Road all season I felt anyway. What do you make of that? What do you think was different today as well? Because a lot of teams come here and, and shut up shop and make it quite difficult for us. So what do you think was different today? Um, I thought the bravery from the two midfielders to get on the ball, um, Kane and Danny Barker. And um, I think the second goal comes from um, a bit that we've worked on by getting them two on the ball and Dan Barry plays it into him. Um, Wally then comes short, brings his centre half in and then it frees up some space for, for Lewis. And you know what a finish. Um, probably one of the toughest ones that we had uh, throughout the afternoon and just delighted that he got it and um, you know he looked really sharp in training on Thursday and you know, I was keen to say to him we need to see that Lewis on, on Saturday so try to keep him on as long as possible we had some tight calves um, but when you've got a lad on two goals and you know it's really important for their confidence then to try and stay on and get the hat trick but um, you know, there was really good performances. I thought the two teenagers at the back again were brilliant. I thought Joe Rye was excellent today. Um, some of his headers was, was big tackles for us. Um, you know, I thought he, he was excellent. And um, yeah, just disappointed in the in the goals that we conceded. But in the main, it's a good performance again. David, um, obviously Lewis Walt with great form to say, and he's someone who's had a few issues this season with injuries. He's been quite um, up and down with his minutes, so he's struggled to get that consistency. How big do you reckon a game like today will be for him going forward? Yeah, hopefully, hopefully, and um, you know, with Keane, he, we know what he can, he can do on his day. Um, he's proved that a couple of times now. Um, I thought there was a performance away at Hemel where he was almost unplayable. Um, he's had some really big performances for us. Um, so, yeah, um, the squad's really, really good place at the moment. If you look at our bench today, I thought it was a sign of you know just the kind of calibre of, of, of team we've got uh, to play so well like we did and then to have those players on the bench and Aaron Racine and Tati um, injured. Um, you know, it's, you, you look round, it's, it's really healthy, really good good squad and um, you know, people got to play well to stay in the team and you know, that's the same for any team that you want to be successful. Um, you know, you've got good competition throughout the squad and when you get your chance for minutes, you've got to make sure you take it and you know, I thought there was a few players that done that today. And um, talking about how stacked the team is, there's a new addition to the team and David Rodari has come back and he was alone obviously briefly last season. Back again, uh, I believe for the, till the end of the season, correct? Uh, yeah, that's it. Yeah, so um, alone was looking at maybe you know signing him uh, permanently to us, but um, you know we've got him on loan to the end of the season, so just as good. Um, but yeah, I think he showed today glimpses of of what he can do. Um, you know, he's 
a brave player who gets on the ball and he's not frightened to take risks and take people on and um, you know him and, and Josh to, to have you know, our squad to the end of the season is, is a massive boost for us and um, you know really does keep the caliber of player higher and it demands then um, people to perform at a certain level and um, you know got real good competition throughout the squad so yeah like really pleased with how it's how it's coming together um, and you know we're gonna gonna need it we've got Tuesday and then Saturday again so you know everyone's gonna be needed over the next few weeks awesome thank you Adam cheers thank you